Oh. Oops, a daisy. What are you doing? Just flicking through Facebook. You spend so much of your time looking through stupid, daft stuff on Facebook. Some of them lead to exciting stories, like this one. This is Fresh Happenings. So how much time, on average, do you think people spend just flicking through Facebook? So I reckon, on average, they spend four hours. Four hours yeah. throughout the day? Four hours. Just <laughs> scrolling four through. Four hours. Then what sort of stuff do you, are you getting on your wall at the minute? Well, I've been following everybody, so all it literally is is articles that are coming up. Right, on okay. Um, so I don't know what anyone's doing on Facebook. I follow bizarre articles, and I love those weird stories, all those weird videos of, you know, like people falling over, but falling over in ridiculous places. Like yesterday, I watched a guy fall down some stairs into a lake. But it did lead me to find today's discussion topic. In China, a family thought they'd bought a Tibetan Mastiff. Two years later, when taking it to the vets, they found out it was a black bear. Oh. <laughs> so this family in China had raised a black bear wow. for two years. So this family had a bear as a pet, technically. So today's discussion topic is if you could have any wild animal yeah. as a pet, will exclude risk of that wild animal killing you. Yeah. What wild animal would you have as a pet? Caveat, you have enough room for it. Oh, right, so... So you don't need to worry about keeping it in your current abode. There goes my blue whale idea. <laughs> no, you have got space. If you want a blue whale, you can have a blue whale. You've now got somewhere... You have got somewhere to keep it. Oh, because I was thinking about if I had the blue whale, I could essentially just go all over the world for free. But you're gonna try and ride it. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like tame, isn't it? So uh, it doesn't go under the under the ocean. They do go under the ocean. It it do, yeah, but it does. But like because I've domesticated it, it's gonna stay on the surface, isn't it? So you're and just gonna ride your. You basically got a very elaborate water horse. Yeah. <laughs> but it's great, isn't it? Because I mean, it might take a few weeks to get places, but free travel, I could go on holiday wherever I wanted. I mean, once I got there. Obviously, then I'd have to get some transportation off of the beaches, uh, and then the the whale. I'd have to find a way of trying to get back to the whale once uh, <laughs> once I'd done whatever I was doing on land. So maybe in hindsight, it's not a very good. No, idea. it's a terrible idea. I like I like the idea of having something um, which will do something extraordinary for me. I think what I would probably like is something like a um, a panther or or a lion. A big cat like that, that'd be really cool. Or a big, big grizzly bear. I, I like the idea of a pet bear. Yeah, yeah, because you want to be, you want to be Mowgli. Yeah, <laughs> that's on, exactly. On top of Baloo, don't yeah, you? That's, that's what it. you want to be, that's the dream. A gorilla, that, that'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, isn't, doesn't Dwayne The Rock Johnson have a gorilla in that new Rampage film? Yeah, I mean, obviously this is in a hypothetical world where you could keep yeah, we are, we are not advocating trying to keep animals as pets. I think the whole uh, exotic pets trade market is horrific. Yeah. Uh, this is a parallel universe where the animal enjoys being in our company. Uh, where wild this, animals uh, are, domest should, are domestic animals. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. We're not, no, no advocation for the exotic pets trade. But, because um, <laughs> some of those um, little monkeys are really cool as well, which are, See, I would really not have a monkey at all, mainly because uh, there, I watched a documentary about a chimpanzee that tore a woman's face off. Yeah. And um, I don't want that. Yeah. I saw a, a jaguar um, treat a monkey as its baby once. That was, a, yeah, I'm sure I've seen that on, Is that on a, the Facebook wall feed. I would like a wolf. Yeah, I was waiting until a wolf came up. A lot of people, yeah. wolf was there. It's like, so close to a dog, so it's easy to imagine how a wolf would be. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, you know, we've all seen Game of Thrones. So if you could have a pet from times gone by, from extinct animals, what would you have? Easy. What? A woolly mammoth. <laughs> oh, my days. Yeah. Those That's... things are amazing. Isn't that not just like the elephant, though? It's bigger than the elephant. It's bigger than the elephant. That's bigger, bigger poo. It's, it's fine. I've got... We, we made the rule that we've got space to store it. So yeah. We can have his own, like... And... Elephant poo, as we mentioned in the uh, vending machine episode, is brilliant for gardening. 
Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. So yeah. you're gonna have a very lush garden. If you can get some goats, some uh, old school, old school, yeah. <laughs> prehistoric goats, then uh, you've got your kept your grass and then it's nice what and do, lush. What does a woolly mammoth eat? Similar to elephants, some all, all masses of hay and grass and Right. So, so a lot of stuff. It's going to be expensive. Yeah, it is an expensive, um, expensive. But animal. I'm thinking you can sell it to coat every now and again, like you do with sheep. Well, if it molts, then yeah. I'm sure it will. Like it, it's going to roast in this country. You don't know that for sure. <laughs> no. Bear in mind that the but mammoth proved me wrong. Existed in a time <laughs> yeah. when it was just it was really really cold. Yeah. So you don't know if it molts. It hair grows doesn't. back though. If you shave a dog, its hair will grow back. Yeah. So it will just grow back. Yeah. You can make your own coats. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Woolly mammoth coats. Yeah. I was going to go, you went down the prehistoric route, I was going down another route because it's a huge craze at the minute. Everyone, or every, I put, I'm put, i putting people in a, in a box, which I shouldn't do, but every female at the minute seems to be obsessed with unicorns. There's a massive Is unicorn it? boost at the minute. If you go into Primark, there's so many t-shirts that are like, I'm not just a girl, I'm a unicorn. It's the same slogans like that and loads of, in fact, I've got a unicorn teapot in my house currently. But what mythical creature? Because we've watched a lot of fantasy films and fantasy board games. Any mythical creatures you'd like as a pet? Yeah, an Etten. An Etten? Yeah. <laughs> of all the choices, you'd go for an Etten. etten. Explain your choice. For those who don't know what an Etten is, because it is one of the more obscure fantasy <laughs> creatures, Foster, would you like to explain what an Etten is? It's pretty is? much a troll with two heads. It's quite interesting, isn't it, having an animal with two heads? Well, he's not an animal. It's it's a thing, yeah, isn't it? You basically got a... Yeah, it's like two for the price of one, isn't it? <laughs> you know? And no, let's be honest, right? If I was walking around with an Etin, nobody would bother me, you know? Well, if this is a world where people walk around fantasy creatures, it depends what they've got. Well, yeah, this is true, this is true. But if I was going around with an Etin, oh, yeah. that'd be quite that'd be quite rare. And um, yeah, no one would no one would try and... Uh, that is a real... An Etin was not the choice I thought you were gonna go No for. one would try and screw with me, would they? No. Uh, I, I tell you what would be the more practical choice would be a griffin, uh, because then I could go fly. I could yeah, I could fly anywhere I wanted. I I wouldn't have to worry about with blue whale where I, you know where am I going to park it. But with the with the griffin, I could park it anywhere. Oh, getting into out of the realms of fantasy into the realms of of movies, Falco from the Neverending Story. <laughs> That's yeah. what I want. That's technically still fantasy. Well, because essentially, not only is he a dog. Not only is he huge and fluffy, and not only does he fly, he's also, you know, very talkative. So you can have a conversation with he's him He's basically well. like your mate, isn't Yeah, he? he's your mate, and he can fly. And you know what? Probably a lot safer than a griffin, because a griffin, I can imagine being quite aggressive if you didn't feed it. Could you ever see yourself buying a dog that's actually a bear? Um, <laughs> Which is where this all began. I think I'd be smart enough to, to look at a cub, a bear cub, and go, that ain't a dog. So there we go. That was another episode of Fresh Happenings in the can. What exotic slash mythical slash movie pets would you have? Yeah, we will definitely shout out the best creature pet you want. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and we'll see you on another episode of Fresh Happenings. Yeah!